Well, you've heard the saying, if you build it, they will come. Taylor Duncan is a 25-year-old. He is living with autism, and he loves the game of baseball. And when he couldn't find the right team for him, he decided, why not start my own? Taylor founded the Alternative Baseball League in 2016, and now there are 80 teams in 34 states. This league allows athletes with special needs to play free of judgment, offering support and friendship, and a whole heck of a lot of life lessons taught on the field. Taylor Duncan is our hometown hero tonight, and he is joining us live from Georgia. Taylor, it is great to see you. I'm so glad it you could be with us. It is great to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you. All right, so I want to know what it is about baseball that you love so much. It's about forming the friendships and being able to get out there and work on those teamwork skills, learning how to deal with winning, losing, and other situations that may happen as the game goes along because no two games are exactly the same. There's always something to learn every single day. We play the game of America's pastime, and let me tell you, there is never a dull moment at alternative baseball. No, there isn't. I'm, it's so exciting to watch. So what advice do you have for people who may be watching you tonight who have not felt accepted, whether it is a sport or just in life in general? If you have a dream, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't. In fact, you can with the right support system. And here at Alternative Baseball, we accept everyone for who they are and encourage them to be the best they can be. And we want to instill confidence needed for them to fulfill dreams in life on and off the baseball diamond as well. We'll, talk, we'll take you from wherever you start out at and we'll definitely do everything we possibly can to help you reach your maximum potential and beyond. <laughs> you know, Taylor, being the commissioner of a baseball league has to be a lot of work for you. I'm sure you've learned a lot along the way. What are some of the challenges as you have grown this league to 80 teams now? Well, one of the biggest challenges in all the areas that we move into is the fact that after a lot of individuals with disabilities age out of high school, it seems like in a lot of these areas, there's really not enough services to be able to accommodate the needs of those after they age out of the IDEA Act. And for us, we're here to provide this opportunity for those over the age of 15. And everybody just remembers we're different from other programming because everybody plays in the independently on the field and we give those that a lot of people would ordinarily discount an opportunity to get out there and do the same things as everybody else just like they do on television. Wow, really incredible. So Taylor, what position do you play the most? What do you enjoy? Oh my, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but nowadays I do more first and second baseman, okay. but nowadays I haven't actually played since the COVID pandemic. It's, I've been leaving it to our individual teams return from the COVID pandemic. I'm glad you brought that up because there was baseball happening during the pandemic. How have you had to adjust things? Was the season abbreviated because of the, the illness? Well, last year we weren't able to play at all, but next, but this year we are back better than ever. Let me tell you that. Some of our teams have been able to come together and travel up to four hours to different cities to play against each other. And we do recommend masks in the dugouts and we do have precautions in place. And I am proud to say, America, we did it. We didn't have a single COVID case come from any of our teams this season. Oh, well done. A lot of lessons learned there, Taylor. So I know that uh, you've Thank got a you. big game coming up in November. Is that right? Tell us about this game. Correct. In November of 2022, Alternative Baseball will be returning the ABO versus Pros game at the Chattanooga Lookout Stadium, AT&T Field. And it'll be the first time in all of baseball history that a team of those with disabilities from across America will play against a team of former and perhaps current professional baseball players in a real nine inning exhibition. We want to give, we want to be given the same exact opportunities as everybody else in society. And this is the perfect way to show it. And we're looking to make it as accessible to those spectators also with disabilities who also wouldn't ordinarily get to go to a sporting event. So if you'd like to work on solutions and provide suggestions on how you can help out with that, if you want to play on any of our teams from Hawaii to Maine, mm. 
or if you want to volunteer, if you want to play, if you want to umpire, anything, you can log on to www.alternativebaseball.org to learn more, and we're happy to have you as part of our family. Ah, oh, Taylor, it has been such a pleasure to talk to you tonight. Thank you for joining you. us. Congratulations on the Alternative Baseball Program. We're going to be looking forward to November of 2022. Bye, Taylor. Happy birthday, President, happy, happy birthday, President Carter. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, good night, Taylor. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that was fun. He's our hometown hero tonight, and I think we can all see why.